Welcome to Front Page Index. My name is Alex Dadig. After doing a little more research on Hunter Biden's business dealings, there are some new revelations you may not have previously been aware of. Towards the end of President Obama's second term, everyone wondered if then-Vice President Joe Biden was ready to take on the role of Commander-in-Chief by running in the 2016 presidential election. At the time, public opinion saw Biden as a viable choice to lead the country. Instead, Joe Biden decided he wasn't ready, and from what we know today, his reasons may have had a lot more to do with his son Hunter's activities than the death of his son Bo, who tragically died of cancer in May of 2015. On October 21st, 2015, Joe Biden, flanked by then-President Barack Obama, stepped up to the podium in the Rose Garden and announced he will not be running for president. As my family and I have worked through the, uh, the grieving process, uh, I've said all along uh, what I've said time and again to others. Uh, that it may very well be that that process, uh, uh, by the time we get through it, uh, closes the window on mounting a realistic campaign uh, for president. That it might close. I've concluded it has closed. While Joe Biden told the American people his family was still in too much mourning over his son Bo's passing, we now know this testament of sorrow was not the only reason for his reluctance. About a month earlier, Joe's son Hunter's investment fund, Bohai Harvest RST, or BHR, closed a $600 million deal that gave a front company for the Aviation Industry Corporation of China, AVIC, communist Chinese control of Michigan manufacturer, Hennages Automotive. Aviation Industry Corporation of China is on America's watch list for 2007 espionage and hacking of the Lockheed Martin U.S. Air Force Joint Stealth Strike Fighter F-35 program and others. Although the deal was described as for automotive purposes, what was shielded from the news about the deal is the Aviation Industry Corporation of China is the world's second largest defense contractor. This matters even more so because Henninges owns numerous facilities in the United States that are now controlled by a Chinese military front company in the United States and therefore they have access to everything those companies are working on. This deal had to be cleared by the United States Committee on Foreign Investment because Hennage's automotive manufactured anti-vibration technology with military applications. It is not stated what this type of technology is, but I think the American people have a right to know what Hunter Biden sold to communist China. From what is available online, Hennages produces rubber seals and specializes in glass encapsulation. The question is, glass encapsulation of what? After all, today's cars have a lot more than an AM FM radio. Today's cars have sensors, radar, sonar, GPS, voice command, remote entry, satellite control of a vehicle, and even night vision. These are all technologies that can have advanced, top-secret military use. According to an October 2020 article in Breitbart by Peter Schweitzer, it says, quote, Internal BHR documents show exactly how the Chinese military contractor, namely AVIC, was able to disguise its ownership via shell corporations 
and formed a joint venture with the son of the vice president to facilitate the Chinese takeover of an American dual technology supplier. Additional documents suggest that Hunter Biden's Chinese-backed venture funneled money to an entity controlled by Vanessa Carey, the daughter of then Secretary of State John Kerry, just one month before the United States Committee on Foreign Investment approved the takeover. At the time, Secretary Kerry played a lead role on the Obama-Biden CFIS Committee, end quote. As my family and I have worked through the, uh, the grieving process, uh, I've said all along uh, what I've said time and again to others, uh, that it may very well be that that process, uh, uh, by the time we get through it, uh, closes the window on mounting a realistic campaign uh, for president, that it might close. I've concluded it has closed. After Joe Biden's October 2015 announcement, he would not be running for president. Hunter Biden was only months away from binging crack cocaine, admitting in his memoir, for which he was paid $2 million, how in 2016 he smoked crack cocaine for every 15 minutes. While spending money like a drunken sailor only months after Joe Biden announced he wasn't running for president and closing his deal, Hunter Biden made a fortune for himself and the big guy. It's pretty hard for me to go home and tell my constituents to ignore the fact that Hunter Biden received $50,000 a month from a gas company in the Ukraine. Uh, in May of 2014, Hunter Biden joins the uh, Burisma board and over the course of the next several years makes more than $4 million. Concerning Hunter Biden, I feel like we have a very good grasp on, on the income flows. Yes. And is it millions? Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It was, it was around $8.3 in from 2014 to 2019. But just because you're a crack cocaine addict doesn't give you the right to take $25 million from foreign nationals and not pay a penny taxes on it. I, Have you received any money from no. uh, business dealing? No. At all? Not no. one cent? Not one cent. Meanwhile, Democrats handed Americans the Hillary Clinton presidential candidacy, which worked like a charm to distract the American public away from the heat Joe Biden would have been facing at that time had the media vetted his legal and ethical fitness for office. From the front lines of America's leading political news and opinion, I'm Alex Stadig with Front Page Index, politics for you. <laughs>